Hi, and welcome to my channel. This is KB We're Saving 101, and I'm KB, Kim Baker. If this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome. I am a lifetime thrifter, and I am a reseller on the Poshmark app. I also am sending boxes into ThreadUp. So if um, reseller uh, content interests you, please um, think about hitting that subscribe button down below because it does really help me out. Uh, this happens to be Thrift Haul Thursday, which means I always go uh, to Goodwill on Thursdays because it's dollar day. One tag is a dollar. So everything I have here is or per, was purchased for one dollar. It is quite a big haul. So I have about 30 items, I believe. Um, I do have them divided up. I have them divided up between what I'm putting in my own personal Poshmark closet and what I'll be sending in to thread up. Um, also, I like saving my best items for last. Um, sometimes they're the most expensive value. Sometimes it's just, I couldn't resist. So um, yes, stay tuned to the end. Anyway, we're gonna dive into what I am going to put in my Poshmark closet. I actually have been trying to pick up less and less this week for some reason, I couldn't resist. So I'm gonna start off with, I don't know. I don't know why I got this. It's just a belt. Um, you know, it'll probably be listed for about 25 in my closet. It's a nice thick, um, it's a nice large size, uh, is what it is. I, I, I'm telling you, you know what? It was like an eight hour day. It was a very big haul. My cart was overflowing. Um, I also picked up one other belt. Where are you since I was doing belts? Here it is. Um, and this one will actually be listed higher. Um, it is Lucky Brand. It is leather and it has the laser cutouts along with this um, studded medallion there. So a Lucky Brand belts do go higher, especially the leather. And yeah, so it's going to be at least 35 or up. All right. Also, I will leave more detail um, for you guys in my description of the video. So um, it'll give you the breakdown of, you know, Poshmark and all that. Okay, let's see. We are just going to move along and I'm going to tell you this is actually like my fifth take on this darn thing. So I'm a little bit jumbled and um, just hang in there with me, would you? All right, so Poshmark, my Poshmark closet. Um, you know, I am truly an 80s chick. Uh, so this happens to be a purple. It's showing up really blue. It is not blue, it's purple. So I apologize that the color is way off, um, but I could not leave this piece behind. It is, look at this. I like, uh-oh, Devo. Okay, if anybody know the songs, Whip It, Whip It Good. You're all probably too young. Anyway, <laughs> um, it's a nice little zip up and it has really cute detailing on the zipper. So um, I picked this up from my Poshmark closet and I'm gonna, it's like a faux suede. Um, it's really cute. So I'm gonna probably list this for about 39 um, in my closet. And did I say what size it is? It's a size 14 and it's called Carrie's Place. Okay. So I've been trying and I tried and I tried. I really did get it, but they're so cute. Um, this is an extra small. Is it an extra small? It's an extra small. It's boost boost. Um, but I just couldn't resist. Actually, I had somebody almost try to take this out of my cart. So I really do think it'll sell. Um, I'm putting it in my Poshmark closet. And I'm going to probably list it for at least 29. Okay. This one happens to be Notations 3X. And it is just a nice blouse that has um, a collar. Can you see the collar? Oh no, it's not collared. It's not collared. It's got the, uh, like, you know, fold that in, um, plunging V with the, or uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, a mock uh, shell underneath and short sleeves. And then this black and white print, um, nice large size. And I just, I had to have it. Okay. From there. And that one I'm gonna probably list 29, 25. Um, I list them high so I can send out offers. Um, I, I started listing them lower at one point and then I wasn't sending out any offers and actually I've started listing them higher and I still am not really sending out that many offers. Um, I send them out a different way. One of these days we'll get into it and I'll tell you why or how. Um, this one is an Anna. It is a size medium, nothing special here, but it is super cute. I love these colors. 
Um, and I love the style. So I thought this definitely was going to go with some of my skirts I already had in my closet. And yes, so like this little peasant blouse, long sleeve, size medium. And I'll probably, again, 25, 29, who knows? All right. Here's another nice large blouse I found, which this one is Live and Let Live. It is um, 3X. And it is the super cute. I love the coloring. Um, and um, it's got the, the sheer flutter sleeve here. Um, and the back actually has more of a crocheted lace detailing. It is a tunic. See the split in the back? So I thought that was absolutely 100% adorable. I couldn't resist that for my closet. And again, I'm going to probably list that at 29. All right. I found a little, I found actually two vintage pieces. So this one's vintage and um, I'm check this out. Okay. Extreme, extremes, extremes. I don't know what it is. All right. Can you see that? Um, and it is, it's, I think it says 1314. Um, but it is this button down, long sleeve, sheer collared um, in this really pretty brown print. Um, again, I'm going to probably list this underneath the swimsuit cover up. Uh, that's what I like to do with them. And, uh, yeah, see how it goes. It's probably going to be listed for about 39. Okay. Now I know you guys think that, I don't know, maybe, and maybe they're not, but I've had some really, um, vintage old style looking stuff actually sell on Poshmark. One was like, um, a Brighton purse. And I'm telling you, it said grandma all over it. Um, and I'm a grandma, so, um, and I would not have that purse. Maybe it's a great grandma. Maybe it's a great grandma purse. Maybe even older than that. But anyway, um, and I had this one coat. My daughter said that was the ugliest thing. Why are you picking that up? And it sold within two weeks. I'm not joking when I say that. It sold within two weeks. And it was a cream, cream on cream textured print, like 70s um, drape. 70s drapes. That's the only thing I can tell you if you maybe know 70s drapes. Anyway, it was a trench um, and it sold extremely quick. I could not pass up this little, oh, this is the cutest little thing. I've never heard of them. Uh, here you go. I'm not going to slaughter this guy's name. You know, I don't know. It doesn't say George, so it's a little more difficult for me. <laughs> at least you got to laugh at yourself, right? Um, and uh, it's a size small. Um, it is like this, does it say what it's made out of? I don't think it did. It doesn't say what it's made out of. Um, and it's in this like tweed and with this um, window pane, um, wind, see the window pane, the window pane plaid. Uh, and it's got the shimmer to it. And it's this cream. Even the buttons are really neatly detailed. But if I can move my hair and let you see, look at the collars detailed. Look at these sleeves. Oh, and wait, even it's got like a little peplum. And look at that. I'm telling you, I am really sorry. I could not pass this up. I don't care if you think it's old. I think it is so retro and um, 60 style. I think it's going to be flying out of my closet. I'm going to probably list this at least 49. Um, and I might go higher. Who knows? Okay. Let's see. Oh, yes. I haven't done you yet. This is really super cute. Um, this is Zoe and... Zoe and Beth plus size. It's a 1X and it is the sheer um, like little sundress that has like, look at these, you can tie these in a bow um, for your sleeves. It has this gorgeous um, shark bite hem or handkerchief hem, whatever you want to call it. Um, I love looking at how it's got that little like curly detail almost to it. And the sheer is longer, especially in, the, in that hemline than the actual lining. So this gorgeous print, I could not pass or leave this up. Look at that. So this will be listed in my Poshmark closet um, at least for 39. So yes. All right, now this is my first time. Oh, I found, this is Jessica McClintock for Gun Sacks. And I'll have to do some more research on the pricing. Um, first time I've ever found a Gun Sacks. And um, I've had Jessica McClintock dress before. In fact, I still have one listed in my Poshmark closet. Um, I was hoping that this would be an item I could send into ThreadUp. But after doing the research 
they really don't value this particular brand. And I couldn't find, I might have to do some more research and we'll see. But this is really pretty. It is this nice little hot pink um, sateen with this ruching in the center. Um, and wait to see the back, because the back is so cute. And ribbon, like this is like a ribbon waterfall. Look at this, ribbon waterfall booty. Um, so I'm, you know, like that kind of ruffles are supposed to be really in. So I think this will do really well. Um, and like I said, um, I can list it in my Poshmark closet, not a problem. So, uh, yeah. Did I say what size it was? I'm so sorry. It is a 910, which isn't a, too bad of a size. So anyway, all right. Now this happens to be, um, my, um, favorite piece <laughs> that I found for my personal Poshmark closet. All right. And they don't have them listed very high. If anybody knows what this particular, this is on the collar. There's a zipper pocket thing on the collar. On the collar. I don't understand what it's for. Um, if you got an idea, let me know because I don't get it. But this is reversible. Um, it is gorgeous. I did the research on it. This happens to be a handmade um, brand. Um, and I'll tell you the brand as soon as I take it off and show you the things in the pocket. But look it. It's got this crinkle pleated sateen with this floral print it is so vibrant and pretty and this would be great has pockets here for vacation because you have this side and then you can take it off and you have this side ta-da um and this side has angled pockets where are you there they are angled pockets right here um so uh, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is great. Go on vacation. You got two different looks. Again, it's in that crinkle pleated sateen finish. And um, it's a brand called UBU. And, um, I had not heard of it. Like I said, it is handmade. So they do say that there might be some inconsistencies or, you know, different um, things to it as far as, a, you know, not, it's not machine made. Um, and let's see, it is a size two. UBU. And again, it was inside the pocket. Um, I was ecstatic when I saw that and it was still there for dollar days. So um, yes, I'm gonna probably list this for like 49 in my closet. <laughs> so um, yeah, I don't know where you can actually buy it. I found information on the company, but not really where you could buy it. Anyway, all right, so I'm going to jump into my other items, which are, um, and my thoughts behind, I picked them up and might change my mind for thread up. So, keep on going. All right. Shoes. I found these. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, these cleaned up wonderfully. These were like completely black. They look great. Um, and so I'm going to send these into thread up. They value these BB um, tennies flats for like um, $89. So hopefully they take them and sell them or accept them and sell them. Otherwise, uh, I have no problem listing those in my Poshmark closet. Um, now, never heard of this, this brand. It's Kayleen. They're size five and a half. And um, they are the cutest shoes. They only value them at 60 though, which means I'd only get about 14 bucks for these. And um, so I'm going to do a little bit more research. Personally, I think I may go through and put these in my classroom closet because they're adorable. Um, although I've never had a size five and a half, so I hope they sell well. But I, I mean, the detailing on these shoes, they're just gorgeous. And 14, I don't know. I'm, so I'm torn. I'm torn. Do I send them in? I don't know. Wait till I do a thread up boxing and then I guess you'll find out, right? All right. So now these are Mata Spana. Uh, can you see that? Whoops. Wrong finger. Uh, oh, well. All right. Anyway. And where are the size? Here I go again. Uh oh, well, these might not go into uh, seven and a half medium. Oh, thank you, Lord. Um, and they're really in pretty good shape. So I'm going to send them in to thread up. I don't know if they will accept these. Um, there's like a little more of a wear right in there, but um, we'll see. So they value them at like 119, which would be awesome. Um, so it's, it's worth me sending it in and giving it a shot. All right, now I just got to grab the rest of the pile that's right here for a thread up. So hold one second. Oh, 
Ah. Oh, Lord. All right, the spread up room and this posh room are getting to the point. Ah. <laughs> um, I've taken over another bedroom and I really have to get it picked up. So I have company coming. Anyway. I'm going to keep moving on with this. I apologize for my outburst. Um, this is White House Black Market, and they value their dresses nice and high. This happens to be a long sleeve, and again, it has like a, a mock shell underneath it, and it has like this leather, faux leather detailing around the neckline and on this belt right here. So I'm going to send this in. I hope they accept it. Um, 148. That is spectacular. Um, yes. Go thread up. All right, this happens to be Eileen Fisher. It is a size small. This happens to be a um, like a velour, um, but it's fully lined. So it, um, you can tell the difference between a velour and a velvet. Velour has a stretch. Um, this is fully lined though, um, and it doesn't stretch. So, um, but anyway. All right, I just babbled for no reason at all. Eileen Fisher, let me keep moving. Um, they value this particular simple short sleeve blouse for $98. So I am going to send that into third up. Oh, can you see it? I'm sorry, guys, it's really dark. It's raining, and because it's raining, I can't photograph, so I'm doing my haul video early. Um, good thing I was kind of prepared. Let's see how that goes, right? All right, so um, this is really cute, London Times. It's a size eight. Um, it has like this, I don't know, necklace ne neckline. I don't know what to call this. A mock neckline? What is this? It's like a necklace, right? Um, it's got this little gathering and this really cute print. So it's like a little swing dress. Um, they value these at like $95. So here we go. Thread up. I have this loft skirt. It's an Ann Taylor loft, size 14. They value the loft at about 80. Um, it has a double slit in the back there we go now to hold it right there we go this way and double slit there so i'm sending that in uh let's see this happens to be max studio this is really super cute it is an extra small it is new with tags so um, they value this particular brand at about 128 for their casual dress. And look at this, isn't it adorable? It has got sleeveless, <coughs> excuse me, drop waist. Um, and it's that crinkle, see that crinkle material? Uh, so it's got a lot of detailing in those kind of plain in that scoop neck. So um, I'm gonna send that in because yes, at 128 value, woohoo! All right. I don't know if I've told you, but this is like my fifth take, so um, I'm getting a little dry mouthed, and hey, thank you for hanging in there. All right, this is a Tory Richard. It is a size small. They value this um, at $95. Um, it is in one-shouldered, um, so I, like if I was listing this in my Poshmark closet, I'd put like a toga. Um, it does have little belt loops, but there is no belt, and since the belt loops are broken, I might actually just trim those off. I don't know if they accept them without um, uh, the belts. So I have one box that just got sent back to me. So we can't wait to see, um, how well, or those items that they rejected. So, and, uh, let's see what we do with those. Okay. Um, this happens to be a limited stretch size 10. I hate listing pants, so I have no problem doing so is sending these in. Uh, they value them at about $80. Um, again, a little bit wider leg which is supposed to be more in trend for this year and it is a higher waist dress pant so there you go off and running um and one of my boxes i which should be getting checked in any minute um i sent a lot of higher end stuff i think and um I should really send a lot of different ranges so that way I have items that sell and it pays for the shipping for any of the items that I want to come back that didn't sell. So, um, but you know, like I said, this is a learning experience. Um, I have faith that the items will sell, so um, I'm all good with it and learning it and sending a variety in. Let's put it that way. All right, so this happens to be a Torrid size 16. It's just like this little eyelet lace um, sleeveless sheath sundress. 
um, in yellow. And uh, they value Talbots um, at 99. So that's going to go in. All right, I have another White House Black Market. Um, again, they value it at like 140. So we'll see how, if they accept this, it's like a little mock wrap um, in this really pretty rust orange. I love the weight of this. I really do like White House Black Market. Just don't let me try it on. Don't tell merchandise. All right, um, let's see. Okay, so this one is Lottie and Holly, Band of Gypsies. It is an extra large. They value this one at about $60. And you know what? I'm okay with that, I guess. It's not like um, something I'm dying for, but it's really super cute. And I'll get like maybe 14 bucks for it, maybe. Um, it's a little sundress. It has some detailing up front. The back has some really cute cutout detailing. It is perfect lightweight for um, summer. So um, yeah, but I'm okay with them taking this one. So off it goes. All right, let's see, who are you? I'm telling you, it's a pretty big haul, isn't it, guys? I'm sorry. Ah, uh, some days are good and some days aren't so good. This one is a Danny and Nicole. It's an extra small, and um, they value this one again at 60. Um, and I don't mind sending this one off because it's a maxi. Unfortunately, maxis are hard to photograph, and um, so yes, it's in this the <coughs> excuse me, almost blue cat eye print with some more detailing down below. It is really nice and pretty. It has a double slit. So um, yes, and I'll be fine with getting like 14 bucks for that. So uh, I'll send that off, not a problem. All right, now this one's really super cute. And who are you? Laundry by Design. And they value their casual dresses at 119. So this is definitely going in there. Um, again, this is, happens to be like, I don't know, do you call that a necklace neckline? Necklace neckline? but it has a keyhole cut out right there in the front. Um, again, swing dress. And I know you can call it a shift, but I think the more trendier name is a swing. So, um, and you can see this gorgeous print. Um, so yes, at like what, 119, it is definitely going there. To spread up. All right, now, Okay, see, I get, I'll get into this piece and you'll be like, yeah, I'm keeping this one. All right, so this happens to be a Lane Bryant size 22. They value this one only at 54. I thought it was gonna maybe send it in, but it's not um, It's not valued high enough for me to do that. Um, I think this will sell. It is a nice large size. I guess I'll see how I do photographing it. Um, Cause I don't have extra large hanger or a mannequin. So we'll see. Um, I do need to just go through and do a little fix there but if I list it in my closet I'll probably list it at like 29 okay all right go this happens to be I don't know the ghosts whatever whatever by goss I don't know um I never heard of the brand and it's a size 26 waist and length is 27 um they are this like jegging with this red, white, and blue detailing, which I will clean up to make it look nice and pristine crisp. Um, with this, look at this cutout detailing on the bottom and the raw hem. So anyway, um, it is a nice stretch too. Um, it is a small size, but um, they value these at like 78. So I have no problem sending them there and hopefully they accept them. Okay. Now this nice leather coat. Um, I've not heard of this guy either. Oscar Peel. I don't know. Hill, uh, whatever. There you go, guys. I won't slaughter his name. Um, anyway, Oscar, and this is a size large. Um, it doesn't have the belt. I wish I really, really had the answers to if they will accept items that don't have belts to them. Anyway, um, I don't think a belt is necessary for this particular jacket. It is a button up. It is very nice. Um, it's in great condition, the lining and everything. Uh, just needs a little wipe down, clean up the outside. And um, anyway, they only had a blazer listed and it was listed for 143. So with this being leather, I'm really thinking that it's going to be a much higher dollar value. So off to thread up, it goes. All right, this is Ann Taylor, size 14. Um, it is a, a linen blend um, and it's just this long maxi um, dress with collared, button down, sleeveless, and it does have a tie. 
So um, they value these at like 80, so I'm gonna go ahead and send that in. All right, we're getting down there. All right, let's see, how do we do? Uh, this guy, okay. About four more pieces, guys, I think. Studio M, extra small. Um, they value Studio M at like uh, $95. So this is like a little bodycon with this in the lace with the side ruching detail over here, long sleeve. So I am definitely sending that in. All right. Now, depending on, guys, I looked at this thing like five times, okay? I really, I'm like, oh. Now, isn't that gorgeous? I do love items that show the silhouette or the, yeah, the silhouette of itself. Oh my gosh, look at that. And it's in this like beautiful metallic color. Um, and I'm like, is that a shirt? But in all honesty, when I hold it up, it actually is, mm, and it's stretch. And it's stretch. I'm not sure if they're gonna, Put this under cocktail dress or underneath the shirt. Um, so yeah, if you guys have an, a take on that, then let me know because if it's valued as a dress like 159 or 100 or 90s or whatever, then great. If it's only going to be a top, I really don't think I want to send this piece in. So if you've got an opinion on what you think this piece is, please leave a comment down below because I really think this is gorgeous. Like I said, I love the fact that it just it shows itself. It's just sitting in my fingers. Look at that. So, oh, did I say what size? I think it's an extra small, isn't it? It's a small. So, and it's by BB. Uh, yeah. Please let me know. Comments down below. All right. So, we're almost done. All right. Here happens to be philosophy. No, I didn't know. Philosophy, they, they value that pretty high. Um, in fact, this shirt can be valued between 143 to 214, depending on what they decide it is. So um, it is a sleeveless um, lace, fully lined with a peplum and an exposed back zipper detailing um, blouse. So um, like I said, anywhere from 143 to 214. So keep your eye out for philosophy because obviously, yeah, that's a cha-ching brand on thread up. Uh, let's see, this one too, only reason I got it because of its value on thread up. So hopefully they take it. Um, it is a size zero, it is theory. And um, their blazers, they value at $385. So I am hoping that this little tiny jacket is valued at $385 because that would be a very nice cha-ching chain. All right. Now this is uh, B -Z B -C -B -G Max, Max Azaria, the, 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 fifth take, my mouth's dry, sorry guys, here you go, um, and anyway, it's an extra small, and they value their, um, casual dresses at 268, um, you know, I don't think this one will actually sell for 268, but they value them at 268, um, and, uh, of course I can only mark it up to 80% of that, but, uh, hey, um, if, if they value it that high and I list it a little lower and it sells, I don't care, but um, really, let's go. It is going straight there. I hope they love it. All right, my last item. So I really do appreciate you. Oh no, sorry, I lied. All right, this one, not sure if I'm gonna send in. I might just keep it for myself because it is a loft. Um, and uh, they value their casual dresses at 80. You know, I again, this is not something I would, you know, imagine getting uh, $80 for. But um, what I am gonna tell you is that it is it is definitely my style and um, if it fits me, it's probably be my PJ. So I don't know, we'll see. You'll have to see if I actually do um, send it in or if I keep it. All right, now this piece I am super duper excited about. Um, and um, my experience so far with um, Thread up has been really, really good. And so I am really super excited about it because uh, I had an item that I sent in. It was Nick and Mo, um, which is like an anthro brand. 
um, jacket. And they had put it underneath some assorted, I think it was assorted, um, jackets. So they didn't have it listed at the um, dollar amount it should have been. So I contacted them through the app and their little chat box and um, they were super good about it. And it took maybe four days, but they went through and adjusted it. And now, instead of getting a payout of 14, when I raised my price up, now my payout's like 54 if it sells and um, the value is higher. So I was really super pleased with the customer service. So I did pick up this particular dress because their values are all over. And um, knowing that I can talk to them, um, I, I decided to risk this for a buck. Why not, right? All right, so this is um, Christina Wu Celebration. It is a size four. It is a mahogany. And it is this gorgeous off the shoulder. I mean, oh my gosh. Maybe I should just keep it for one video and I should do a video in it. Um, I don't think I fit into a four anymore. Uh, let's see. And it has this gorgeous, long, sexy side slit. Look at that. So um, <clears throat> their prices were really uh, low, but I found, um, I Googled, I got the information. I took a screenshot. And so I'm ready when I do send this in um, because I found them for 218 to 228 and hopefully <clears throat> if they don't value them that high, I don't think they'll have a problem going through an adjustment, especially when I have the um, <clears throat> information to back it up. Anyway, I really do appreciate you hanging in all the way to the end. Um, and uh, again, I am on um, a lot of different apps, uh, social media wise, but <clears throat> excuse me, uh, Instagram really is where I give out most of the information. So if you don't follow me there, um, maybe try. And uh, don't forget, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. And until next time.